Hello Taurus viewers. Today I'm going to be looking into what your person's thinking, feeling, and what action they want to take towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Okay, so this could be an ex. It could be a new person coming in. Um, for a lot of you, I did get somebody new coming in because I got this energy. If this is the same group of Tauruses that I've been reading the past month or two, um, you know, there was this energy of somebody just kind of being in and out and not emotionally available with you and you're kind of getting fed up with it. And I got this energy of somebody else coming in. So if this is that same group, then um, I do feel that that new person. I feel that energy. And don't get caught up on, you know, male, female, uh, it's, it's whatever you resonate with. It's just how I word things and how I channel, but, um, you know, the roles can always be reversed. So it's, it's, it's however it resonates with you. Just, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right. So Taurus viewers, what is going on with your love life? What is the story? What do we need to know here? What is going on? Tell me about your love life. Tell me what's going on there. Okay. <clears throat> Ace of Wands, the Hermit, the Hierophant. Looks like somebody is coming out of Hermit energy. The Ten of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, interesting. Okay, so I think there's two different stories here. And for a lot of you, both stories might actually apply to you. Because there's one story here that's telling me about like um, your finances and career and this, this energy shift that you have regarding that. That you're going through right now and then there's another story here about um leaving somebody behind but we have this new energy coming in so i'm just going to tell both stories just really quickly i'm going to tell the first one so this is you um this is like creative projects and following your own path and you know this would be like out of the box thinking like pursuing the path that you want not the path that society wants for you not the, the path that people tell you you should take not the path your family wants for you. This is pursuing your own path. This is like isolating and um, going down, you know, the path that resonates with you on a soul level. And this could be like psychic work or music or artwork, just something that's not really completely traditional or something that for some reason people like wanted to discourage you from or they didn't think you could do it. But you're, you're kind of isolating from those people and cutting them out and focusing on, on your own path, you know. And with the Hierophant and the Ten of Wands here, it's like, like that was becoming like, just like their opinions and their just people putting you down, um, gossip, all of that, you know, this is just, this is society. This is like tradition, society, rules, just things. And this, this was, this, that energy, the Hierophant energy was, um, weighing you down. It was too much for you. It was, it was a heavy burden. And, um, you know, I think that you're, I think you kind of let go of that burden. Honestly, I think you are in the, the process of letting go of that burden because, see here we have the queen of pentacles, but look at this serious strict energy. Can you see how like, it's like she's holding this key, but it's like the energy is just so unbalanced and so strict. And with the Knight of Cups going towards the Queen of Wands, you're leaving all this behind. You're leaving society's expectations behind. You're leaving, you know, your family or your friends' opinions of you or what you should do with your life or whatever else behind. Um, and you're going down your own path with the Knight of Cups here. You're going, you're following your heart. This is imagination, but it's also at the same time taking action. This is creativity. This is emotion. This is passion. This is your soul calling that you're finally following. Um, and with the Queen of Wands, this is this is what you're coming into. You're getting away from this serious, stagnant, unwanted energy, and you're going towards the Queen of Wands, towards being the Queen of Wands, which is this person who's powerful and passionate and charismatic and energetic and um, 
just creative and and following their soul path. That's what you're getting on. You're listening to your soul and your intuition and not listening to society anymore the way that you used to. You're setting boundaries that resonate with you and only with you. So it's a great energy. Um, for others of you, I kind of feel like... Like you were, for, for like for the love story here, for, for this other story, I kind of feel like um, you were isolating because you just didn't want to be any, around anyone but this person. Like you were just looking at this person right here and they were looking away too. Like you guys were both looking to the past. You weren't really looking to the present or the future. You both were just kind of living in the past. Um, I think that you were planting seeds and trying to manifest them and you were kind of isolating yourself when you, did, when you were doing that. But I think that... With the Hierophant here, I kind of feel like this might be like a person who's guarded a little bit too serious, might be kind of blocked in some ways. Um, just very stubborn, very set in their ways. They have a certain way of doing things. Um, with the Ten of Wands, that was too much of a, of a burden with you. You don't want to be with the Hierophant. You want to be with your King of Wands or your King of Cups. You know what I mean? Like you didn't want that energy anymore. It was a very serious energy. There might have been something regarding finances with you too. Like you were the more financially stable one or they were helping you with finances. Just something with finances. But um, but you're tired of that energy and you're you're following your heart and you're going forward and you're getting into your queen of, of wands energy and focusing on manifesting a better person. And I do feel that better person coming in now. So let me see what else I can get. Let's see what else we can get coming in. I mean, it would make sense that you'd be doing both. You know what I mean? Like maybe you just went through like a tower moment or some kind of perspective shift um, this year where you're just, you're getting on a different path when it comes to career, when it comes to love, you're just, you know, you're really focused on changing your life right now. So that would make sense. Definitely. Um, let's see. Okay, so you're in the, you're getting in the Queen of Wands energy when you're you're going to be the Queen of Wands when it comes to love, when it comes to work, career, passions, hobbies, all of it. You're that's what you that's the energy that you're you're coming into now. You're in this very powerful transition. Um, so let's see. Show me. Show me who is coming in for the Taurus viewers though, because they're you know you are manifesting new love now. So show me what kind of energy. Um, regarding love, specifically love. I just want to see love, nothing else. I just want to see love. Um, please show me what's going on with my Taurus viewers regarding love now that they're getting into this Queen of Wands energy. Show me what's coming in for them. Okay. Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords, okay. Three of Swords reversed, so that's actually pretty good because you're getting out of the heartbreak. You're letting something go that was just hurting you. Yeah, you're letting, see, the hangman, you're letting it go. It's got the uh, Queen of Swords upside down, Ace of Swords, um, Three of Swords upside down, Seven of Wands, the hangman, Temperance, and the world. Okay, so that's good. It's actually a pretty good reading. Kind of have this song stuck in my head that I think applies to you guys. It's it's this, I think it's called Far Behind by Candlebox. It's, I didn't mean to treat you oh so bad, but I did it anyway. Some could say your life was oh so sad, but you lived it anyway. Like those lyrics are kind of coming to mind for you guys. Yeah, you're still kind of in this like karmic cycle with this person, I feel. But I do feel new love coming for you. But this seems like it's talking a lot about the past person. Because it, it's like with the Queen of Swords upside down, it's almost like you had to be really strong with this person. You had to be um, kind of guarded, you know, with the Ace of Swords. It's like there's, there's this, it's so, it's such a serious energy. It's like your person was like so, there's such like a strict serious energy. Like maybe arguments or just something there because it's like, they just seem so serious compared to you. Like, they seem like they're too serious. Um, with the Three of Swords reversed, though, it's like you did get your heart broken, but it's like you're kind of letting it go now. Like, you're not willing to just be heartbroken forever over this person. You're not willing to just stay in this energy forever when it's very clear that it's just going to be the same, same as before, you know? It's like you had to defend yourself. You had to always keep this person on their toes. You had to always kind of be on watch. Um, you had to, you just had to, like... I just feel like you had to defend um, your viewpoints or your, 
your energy, like you, it's like you couldn't really be yourself, you couldn't be vulnerable completely with this person. It's like they weren't really, they weren't listening, they weren't supportive, there's just some kind of, there's some kind of lack of balance there. And so with the hangman, you're letting it all go, you're kind of in this like meditative deep state, or you're coming into it where you're just letting this go, you're tired of, of being that set of wands energy, you want somebody that you can be yourself with, you want somebody that, um, you know, you could just be open and vulnerable with. And with temperance, you're trying to find a better balance. You're um, trying to learn from the past but let it go at the same time and make sure that you don't repeat the, you know, the same mistakes, um, you know, going through the, sa the same type of guy you don't or the or same type of girl, however it works out for you. You don't want to go f for that anymore, um, and you're aware of that, you know. You, you want that balance in your relationship. You want to date somebody who's more like you than this person was. This person had too many personality differences. But with the world here, this cycle is ending. It's like you completed, like you get your closure. It's like this goal, um, which is this energy of like this, this cycle or, or, or this goal being completed. So, all right, so that's the old person though. I'd like to, if I can, I want to see the new person. Okay, tell me about, let me put these away really quick. Yeah. <laughs> tell me about the new person though, because there is somebody, there is new love. There's somebody that's watching me right now, I think, or they're in your energy field at least if you haven't met them yet. But I feel the energy of somebody else, so there's somebody. I don't know who though. All right, show me this other person. Show me this energy. Show me. Show me this person. Show me this new person coming in. Once they get through the karmic cycle and they let, you know, you guys let go of this person that was just kind of dragging you down and you know that they're not right for you, but you didn't want to be alone. Once you let go of that, who do you have coming in? That's what I want to see. Let's see that. Ooh. And I do not intend on reading these cards upside down, but I think some of them might come upside down because I forgot to turn them all over. See, fulfillment, loyalty. This is really good. So this person is much more loyal and much more going to be much more committed to you um, in ways that the other person wasn't. So we got focus, rigid, trapped, confidence. Maybe confidence should be upside down because that was like the only card that actually came upside down. Message, success, listening. Hmm. I don't know. Let me look at this. Oh, it's 11, 11 a.m. right now, too. So that's really, that's a good sign considering I just asked about a new person and I just pulled all these cards. So if you're seeing 11, 11, it's saying, you know, you're, you know, another soulmate is, is near. So let go of the, let go of the fuck boy or the fuck girl and, you know, focus on somebody who's actually going to be compatible with you and make you happy. Because I kind of feel like the other person was just a karmic. I don't even think they were, I don't even know if they were a soulmate, honestly. I think that... I don't know. I think you're going to meet somebody and you're going to be way happier and you're going to be glad you didn't end up with the other person. Yeah, see, this person is, they either are, okay, so I feel this new energy. So for some of you, this is actually somebody that's like watching you on social media or it is somebody that you met probably not too long ago. Um, for others, it could just be somebody in your energy field that you're very close to meeting. But there is this energy that they're like, they're present. They're just, I don't know if all of you have met them physically or not yet. I think a lot of you have, but not all of you. Um, but this person is going to be a lot more focused on you than the past person was. You know, look at this, this arrow. And you see how it's pointed? It's, it's like passion, fire. It's pointed, um, could be a fire sign anywhere in either, um, could be a fire sign too, or somebody with, you know, very similar energy to a fire sign. And see it's focused on fulfillment and loyalty like this person is wants commitment this person isn't going to have commitment issues as much as you know not the same way that the last person did like this person actually wants like stability and loyalty and um communi open communication and you know a uh, long-term relationship and true love like they're looking for the same things that you're looking for it's, it's you know it's like that Rumi quote what you seek is seeking you 
Um, and so, yeah, they're going to be focused on you. They're going to be focused on, they're going to find you fulfilling. They're going to find fulfillment with you and you're going to find fulfillment with them. Um, and they're going to want that stability and, and loyalty with you. They're not going to want it. And this could also be saying for some of you that are still entertaining an ex, if you're talking to somebody new, they're not going to be willing to have you keep entertaining that ex. They're, they want you to let that go. Um, you know, if they're going to come in, I think, you know, that could be if you're still dealing with, you know, the fuck boy or fuck girl or whatever, and they either see that or they just energetically feel that it might be, you know, creating this block because, um, you know, see rigid right here and trapped. It might be creating this block um, because they don't want to they don't want to deal with another person. They're not going to compete with another person. This person is more. uh stable and honorable and loyal so they're not really going to deal with like they know what they have to offer I think so they're they're not really going to deal with um competing with another man or woman for you especially if it's just somebody that's uh playing games with you you know what I mean like they're going to be they, they don't know why you would think that you deserve that you know what I mean like they they think that you deserve a lot more so so yeah they want mutual loyalty with you they want mutual love mutual honesty mutual communication mutual passion mutual romance depth all of that they want to be on the same page with you um see because I think this person is almost going to be like questioning where your loyalty lies because you see the rigid card and the trapped card and the trapped card the character here the crow is um, looking at these two cards, the confidence card, it's like that's where that, this is what it's connected to. It's looking at it, you know. Um, the confidence card and the message card are turned upside down. So I kind of feel like it's saying like they're having a hard time just gathering, like they don't know where your loyalty lies. So it's kind of like they're having a hard time gathering the, the confidence to message you and reach out. They don't know what's going on with you. They might not know if you're taken or not. They might not know what's if you're dating at this time. Um, there's just some type of energy there that they're just kind of uncertain, um, not quite secure enough to come forward, although they do want to. Um, I think they just have a lot of questions. There's like a lot. It's like you're very mysterious to them, so they're still not sure what to make of your energy, but they really like it, and they do want something with you. Um, and we have success here. Like they're going to listen to you. This person is going to be empathetic, and they're going to listen to you, and they're going to make an effort to understand you to understand, you know, all the good, all the bad, your fears, your anxieties and your your passions, the things that make you happy, all of it. Like they're going to they're going to love you as a whole. They're going to want to listen to you and really get to know you. And I think they're listening right now. They're really paying attention to what you're saying or doing if they are already around you or if this is just just like astral realm energy where they're um, you know, like maybe in telepathic communication with you and letting you know that they're coming in soon. It's like they're they're paying very close attention to you. So, um, so yeah, you do have this, this new love coming in. That's going to be great. Um, it's a really great energy. So let go of anything and anyone that's holding you back from that. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if this resonates.